Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have an unboxing from The Real Real. This is my first time purchasing something from The Real Real, so I definitely wanted to unbox this with you guys so we can see how they did together. So I have my box right here. All I've done is broken the seal on it so we can just get right to it and we are opening this up together for the first time. Alright, and so it came like this this is this the real real i guess authenticity card it says we authenticate every item here and then it has like my packing slip on the inside i'm just gonna that up to the side some bubble wrap and here is the gucci box you guys can see and i'm going to take the lid off And here is my Queen Margaret mini Gucci bag in the white. And it looks like it's almost in brand new condition. Oh yeah. This purse has never been worn before. And the, on the on the listing, they had it listed as ex, for excellent condition. Um, they didn't say new, so if it has been worn, I can't tell. Um, it still has the the cards in it and everything, um, as if it would come from the store. So yeah, here's this bag, and of course I'm gonna do a review about what fits and everything, and then it has a chain. I'm gonna try it on for you guys. Here's where it sits. It's like right here. This is about right there. I think it's a really, really cute size. And then I'm gonna try it on crossbody because that's probably how I end up wearing it. And so, yeah, it's the perfect length on a crossbody. You can get in and out. It'll just sit right there. So let me tell you guys about my hunt for this bag. I went into a purse resale shop, a local purse resale shop here in Atlanta, and I was looking at some other things, but they had one of these for sale in red with the red trim. And I was like, oh, this bag is really cute. Um, I think they wanted like $950 for it, but it was some stones missing from the bees. So I'm just like, I'm not gonna buy anything damaged. Like I don't care if it's luxury or not. I'm not buying any damage. If I'm buying any damage, you need to take off way more um, than $300. So the bag retails for $12.50. Well, ever since I've seen the bag, it had kind of been in the back of my mind. Like, oh, that was a really cute bag. And so I did a, um, I did some more research on the Queen Margaret collection that came out. I want to say it was 2017 or 2018 for Gucci. And so everybody sold out, of course. Um, but the bigger size, I'm not a, I'm not a huge wallet on chain or mini fan, but the bigger size of this had a leather strap and it just looked like a totally different purse. Like it, it looked like a flap, but could have been a satchel and I just wasn't feeling it. So I mean, I really fell in love with the style of this bag. I'm not crazy about the size, but I had seen it in person before. So I, I knew what I was getting. So anyway, I started going on search for this bag on the secondhand market. Of course, I stopped at my go-to spot and that's Poshmark. Let me tell y'all, the resale market was taxing. People wanted retail and more for this bag. I'm seeing this bag listed for $1,300, $1,500. Like, they were just ridiculous. And I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, just I'm not doing it. Like, Gucci doesn't go up in value like some Louis Vuittons do or um, Hermes. So I just, Chanel, it's, it's just not that. Like, Gucci... And even if they do, I don't particularly think this is one of those bags. I mean, I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that this becomes a collector's item and, you know, price value does increase. And I mean, technically speaking, if that's what's going on, if they're selling it on a, re on a resale market more than it retails for, then yeah, I guess that means that this bag's value has increased. But nonetheless, so I was getting frustrated. It's going back and forth from Poshmark, making offers, declining offers, because I just told myself, I'm like, I'm not paying any more than a thousand dollars for this bag so as you guys know your phone be creeping on you so my phone was creeping on me and I saw an ad for the real real and it came up for I think like eleven hundred twenty five dollars and it was like oh get an extra 20% off with your with the coupon and I was like oh well that brought it down I was like oh that brought it down substantially and of course I still had like taxes and shipping but with the coupon and everything I still cleared under a hundred dollars 
I still cleared under a thousand dollars so I'm super happy about that I'm super happy about that I stayed under the thousand dollar mark for the purse and what's even more of a plus is that this purse is in new in the box condition like honestly I can't tell any signs of where this purse is in pristine condition um, here's the box right here it has the Gucci tag in it um, the dust the dust bag. The box is in amazing condition. So I am extremely excited about this baby. It got here. She got here just in time for summer with the white trim. Like I said, when I first laid eyes on it, I laid eyes on the red one and I liked it, you know, with the red and then the Gucci stripe would be in red and blue. But the more I started researching the person looking at it, I was like, oh, I think I want the white one. Like it just looks so classy. And um, again, you know, I'm a sucker for chain strap because that gives it an easy um, day to night transit. And then the, the B, Right here, if you can just see the the decal on the bead, just makes it look like it's a legit a piece of jewelry on the bag, which gives it an even more luxurious um, evening wear feel. So I got this bag. Hopefully, um, I'll be able to wear it this summer for day to night wear, day to night use. It definitely can be worn with jeans, um, but. You know, if you want to throw a blazer on with the jeans, this is kind of the bag that complements that. Like, yes, it's canvas print, but it has jewelry and it has a chain strap, which can get it through the door for nighttime wear. So, so yeah, this is my Queen Margaret Mini from The Real Real, and I'm super satisfied with my purchase. So yeah, you guys, let me know if you have this bag, if you have it in the red one, the white one. Honestly, it seemed like the red ones were a little bit cheaper on the resale market than the white ones. I don't know why that is. I'm not totally opposed to grabbing the red one too. We'll see if I can find a good deal on it and I can have, you know, twin sisters in the closet. If I do, it'll be my first set of twins. Um, I don't have any twins, so when I say twins in bags, I mean like one in one color, one in the next color. So I don't have any luxury twins. So if I got the red one, this this would be my first set of twins. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.